Hello everyone. So in today's video, we are going to see how to deploy a WAR application in your Apache Tomcat and run that in your local machine. So for that, I have already created one Spring MVC project and I have already built that project. So you can build the application and deploy the same in your Tomcat. You can create a separate JSP application or MVC application or Spring MVC application. I have built it and created the project in my IntelliJ IDE. You can do so the same. Before deploying the application in your Tomcat, you need to download and configure the Apache Tomcat in your machine. I have already done so and I have already recorded one video and uploaded it on my channel. You can go to my channel and watch those videos where I have showcased stepwise like how to install and configure Apache Tomcat on Windows machine and also Mac OS machine. So let's start and deploy the same or not Apache Tomcat. Also in this video, I'm going to show you basic configuration uh, in Apache Tomcat, like how to change your default server port, like the default server port for Apache Tomcat is 8080. And you can also change the default port by going to one configuration file. And also if you wanted to debug your application, you can also enable so by using remote debug okay so let's start so i'm just going to open terminal and i'm just going to talk commands uh, basically first time opening my java project and I'm just going to my project and I'm just running mvin clean command. So basically using mvin clean command we can clean the sub project and sub directories if our project has any. And then I'm just going to create the build using mvin clean install command. So the build has been created and I can go to the finder and can verify the same by going to this mvc demo application and I can see my war has been created. Now I will simply copy this war file and I will go to Apache Tomcat. I have extracted the Apache Tomcat and configured the same on my machine. So now I will open Apache Tomcat and ls. Okay. So this is the basic structure of Apache Tomcat folder. You can see, so there is a bin, conf, and inside Apache Tomcat folder, there is a web apps folder. So we need to go to this web app folder and we need to just copy, uh, sorry, paste it, our war application, what we have copied. So I'm just going to paste here. And one more thing in the logs folder, I'm just going to clear all my logs so that for my application, it will just create a fresh logs. So now we need to go to bin ls and we need to start tomcat using startup.sh. So tomcat has been started and I need to go to a web browser. You can go to any web browser and just go to local host 8080. So you can see Apache Tomcat has been started and you can verify the same. So in my MVC application, I have created one controller and I have created several methods uh, so there is one method request mapping with hello so i'm just going to call this method by just copying the mapping and mvc demo the name of my application this will act as a context and this will be same as what you have created the project name and what you have written in your web.xml so this must be same otherwise you will be uh, getting uh, a error like 404 context not found so the context of the spring mvc application should be same as the application word name and the project name now hello so you can see uh, my application has been loaded and the page is opening here so coming back to the application in the web.xml 
you need to you know define where you are defining the dispatcher subnet and all those configs subnet config.xml like if you are defining in xml file you know annotations and all those configurations so if you are defining the context also then you need to you know define the same context what you are defining with your project name and also while deploying the application in web apps folder you need to define the same for uh, name of your application okay uh, now coming back to the config suppose if i wanted to you know uh, debug my application and i just wanted to you know debug like how this hello uh, you know request mapping runs or uh, if you know uh, some error uh, is thrown up here so uh, i can also debug the same using remote debugging so you need to go to you know your debug mode and here you need to go to okay this is build project option and edit configuration right so i'm just going to add new configuration and new configuration would be remote jvm debug okay and i will just name it as spring mpc and localhost and the default port will be 8000 as i have already told you the default port in which tomcat opens is its application is 8080 and the default port in which tomcat you know uh, enables the debugging is 8000 you can also verify the same by going into one configuration file let me also open that con file where you know you can open and verify like if 8000 is your debug port or not and you can also change this 8000 port to any port suppose uh, if you are running an application in your you know environment and suppose 8000 port so you you know you uh, have uh, defined this 8000 port on some other application and you wanted to change so so you can also change that so let's go to again to apache tomcat folder and inside con there is one context.xml file i'm just going to open this file and okay server.xml where we have written yeah so you can see we have defined the connector port 8080 you can also change so and your you know port will be then redirecting to some other port like if you have 8080 port defined for some other application in your project then you can also change so also there is 8000 port we have defined for our debugging so you can also change so and let me open that file also this is logging dot properties yeah so this file uh, i also wanted to convey to you uh, you can also sh uh, let me also showcase that so inside the logs folder you can see we have several logs printed out here like catalina hyphen not 2022 by the name of log and uh, let me also open this log so you can see every log uh, like how the application starts and everything has been logged up here and there is one local host log like whichever request we are going to you know run every request log will be printed up here okay so these two are the main log cells but if you wanted to change you know the level of log like from uh, by default log level is info defined here let me again open that file info you can see info has been defined here if you wanted to change the log level you can also do so by going into the conf and changing from in from logging dot properties you can change from here okay so you can define whichever you know log level you wanted to do so from logging dot properties and there is one web dot xml file uh, in this web.xml file uh, there are you know several subnet mappings and mappings have been defined for your tomcat applications you can see there are different types of mapping defined and there's one more file mm, let me go back okay so just let me open local OCTT. suppose if you wanted to you know uh, check uh, the status of your application or you wanted to just check the uh, jvm you know garbage collection or memory heap then you can go to this server status and just need to type your username and password i have already configured this username and password in my uh, xml file conf xml file let me open that file this is tomcat hyphen users.xml file where you can configure your uh, credentials so i have configured my credentials and i can go to this uh, status 
server status in tomcat application and i can see like the eden space old generation how much memory has been consumed by my application and uh, come going back there is one more manager app in which i can see which all applications are running in my tomcat and what other applications are currently you know stopped start or whatever the status of those application so you can go to this tomcat users.xml and at the below these three configs you need to define i will also copy paste these three configs in video description so you can just copy this uh, config and paste in your tomcat user.xml file and so that you can enable these to functionality from your Apache Tomcat. Now coming back to the debugging thing, so we need to you know uh, just I have enabled this port localhost. Okay, I have marked these three lines as my breakpoints, and now I need to go to my terminal. I need to write three commands. The first one is set gp da hyphen address eight thousand. Now the second command is set gpta hyphen transport dt equal to dt socket and then Catalina dot sh gpta start so what this will do it will basically start our debugging on this 8000 port and if i now just you know start the debugging okay it says connection has been refused okay let me just close this shutdown not sh and let me just again try okay so application has been stopped now i just need to gain check and just start this set jpda address 8000 transport and get clean sh okay now i just need to recheck okay so now again you can see uh, the first time the exception occurs because you know i have just uh, started my tomcat also and i have again started my debug port so it just got confused and it just refused the connection okay so you can see now i have connected to this target vm and localhost 8000 okay and now i just going to run this application and you can see the debug point has been come to my application and now now i can you know debug my application remotely so suppose the application has been deployed in my local server localhost 8000 you can see but if the application has been deployed in your uh, you know any physical server or any cloud server you can also debug the application using this uh, by enabling the host and port in your application and you can debug your apis so in this way you can you know change several other configuration in your web server and you can enable you know debugging you can enable those server status where you can watch your application uh, monitor your application live so yeah. so that's it for today guys thank you